aka your chef is back again and today we are ready and ready to cook you a delicious lunch chef what's kitchen chicken i love you so much chicken let me get a little touch chicken it tastes so good chicken i eat it in the hot say chicken i love you so much chicken let me get a little touch chicken it tastes so good i eat you every day even in the Chef one special Mediterranean mess. Well, hmm, this is the best meal I've ever come up with. It has some Indian and Africa in it. Don't laugh, but you're gonna enjoy it. So now we're gonna go right ahead to the ingredients, and I want to show you exactly what we're using for this particular meal. So we have our shallot, onion, we have our rice, extra olive virgin oil, we have our ginger garlic we have diced golden potatoes we have our indian bread that's part of our special ingredients too for the meal we have our tomatoes it's the crushed tomatoes but i put it in the freezer and we have our coleslaw veggies which is just um cabbage with green peppers and onion we have our parsley fresh parsley we have our green onions this is for garnish to the meal which will make it look good and then we have our chickpea and then we come to our veggie. We have our small pinch of red pepper, tomatoes. We have um, the hot pepper. This is very hot. So we're not going to put all of it in it. And then we have our carrots. And our big secret ingredient is our peanut butter. Love it. And then we have our ingredients for the chicken, as we did. We have our paprika. Our double turmeric is another big secret. And then we have our lemon pepper. And then we have our curry powder and our salt. So this is what we need to make this dish come around. Our chicken is already seasoning. What I did, I washed it with vinegar and I put the turmeric, ginger, garlic into it. So, so that we can just pop it in the oven. So we don't have to waste time. We just have to pop that in the oven. You see how nice that is. So our oven is preheat at 350 for 15 minutes. The reason why I'm gonna do 15 minutes because I'm gonna put it in a pan. And that's when the sauce cooked the whole chicken so now we're gonna go right ahead and start with our sauce so we're just gonna put our olive oil i know i like olive oil it's very simple and it tastes so good and it's healthy for you guys everyone not me alone so we just put a little bit in the pan and then what we'll do is dump our, our secret ingredient is the peanut butter just a little bit peanut butter yes oh I can wait. Just let's wait for the oil to heat up and then we can just cook our peanut butter. So what we want to do right now is go ahead and start with our rice. And the way of cooking this particular rice, you just come in, just let come closer. Just put the water. Yes. So as you can see, you need a lot of water for this rice because um, it's the jasmati rice, it's the Indian rice. It's very precise on how to do it. So right now what I'm gonna do, we're gonna put a little pinch of olive oil in the rice because we're gonna use it again for our secret ingredient to the rice. That will bring it together. Just a little pinch. Don't put too much because you're gonna use it again. Yep. And then don't forget to stir it so like that. Rice will get everything, the oil. We don't have to put salt in it for this particular meal. Because, but you see when it comes finished, you see how it will taste like. So the rice is cooking. So for this meal, this is how it goes. Because of our peanut butter, you just have to put that in the oil first to cook. Because you can't use peanut butter that is not cooked, then you're gonna get up this stomach, which I don't want that. I want my peanut butter to cook well. Is our secret ingredient to the meal. So just pour that in there. Yes. Don't forget to stir it. Oh, it smells so good. Yes. So now, we're gonna put our secret ingredient. The turmeric is the main ingredient for our special meal. So just put as much as you need. 
Yes. Like a teaspoon, that will do. And let it cook. Now you see how the color is already changing. Yes. Ginger. Because we're gonna use them again. Okay, secret sauce. And then our little bit ginger. actually coming to the bowl I was expecting it to be so we're gonna wait additional five more minutes and then we we'll pull that out and put it in our big secret sauce so now I'm gonna put the crushed tomatoes just a spoon of them because we have diced tomatoes in there take a little bit of juice and dump it in and that's it and then we just have to let this cook for at least 10 minutes So what I'll do is turn my oven off first. And then pull your chicken out because our sauce is almost done. As you can see, see how creamy and thick it is. And the rest of the ingredients will come around. So now what we're going to do is lay out the chicken in our sauce. chicken and don't forget to dump the excess sauce from the chicken make it wash everywhere in it and then turn it in yes so now we finally put our last ingredients into it even though we might need a little bit juice for the sauce so now we're adding our final touches to our secret sauce, okay? This sauce, I mean, as you can look, oh my God, I hope you're ready to eat too. So we're gonna put our carrots. And then we'll put our onions. And uh, the shallot. This is another secret, so we let this cook in the sauce. This also brings a lot of flavors to the kitchen. So we're gonna put a little bit of chickpea in our secret sauce. It's just a little tiny, not too much. And the last, uh, potatoes. Who don't like potatoes? I know this is a very secret too, but it comes with the whole meal. It's like the whole package. You know how like when you buy a football season ticket on TV, they give you a whole package. Now this is my whole package. Yes. And now we're gonna let it sit and simmer for the next 20 minutes. And then our sauce is done. So if we let go check up on our rice. So our rice is coming around too, as you can cook. It's cooking, it's almost done. So now we're gonna put our last ingredient. 
uh, fresh parsley, not the dry one. This is I bought this from the store. So just gonna put in the sauce. Yes. I'm just gonna use a little bit for the rice, so we just need a little bit. And mix it. Don't forget to put the heat on the medium low, all the way to five. 0.5 in between and let the chicken do their own thing. Our meal is almost done. I hope you're ready to eat. So now we're gonna do our coleslaw for our dish and it's just carrots, green pepper, yellow pepper, red, and cabbage. So we just dump everything in a bowl and don't forget to put a little bit of parsley. And then you can put any dressing of your choice. You can put mayonnaise, you can put ranch, and I'm gonna put my favorite salad dressing. Yep, the Caesar salad dressing, which is at my favorite store, don't forget Walmart. Never forget about Walmart. They play a huge part in the community. So just dump it over it. Don't make it too sloppy. Just a little bit drizzle, and then you mix it around. Make sure all the salad gets some of the dressing. Oh yes. Let's add a little bit more dressing and our coleslaw is done. So I was gonna put a salt, but the reason why I don't put salt because the Caesar dressing is a little bit salty. Yes, so we don't have to put a salt. And our coleslaw is done. So now I have my Rugani Nani Indian bread. I can't pronounce it, I'm sorry, forgive me. But it's just like a pita bread, but it's very soft. So what we wanna do, because it tastes so bland, it's like salt, but I want to put that a little bit twist on it. So I'm just gonna saute some garlic, ginger, and the parsley with olive oil, and then we can just drizzle it over the rim. So we just have to pop this in the microwave for five seconds. Our olive oil is already in, just dump your veggies in. And then take it off there. Yeah. Oh, that smells so good. Turn it off, because it's almost done. Make sure you get every pinch of every little, garlic, the herb seasoning in, and just put a little bit of salt for the taste. A little bit of salt goes a long way. I'll put the salt in that pouch. When I just talk about that. Just a little bit pinch of salt. Wait. So now, what we're gonna do, Bread, take it out of the oven. For what? Yes. And as you can do, you grab the fork. See? Turn it around. Yes. Check it out. Another one, do the same thing. It's like frying pancakes. Make sure you have all the garlic, the ginger in it. So what I did, I did a turmeric with olive oil and the parsley, and then you can just dump it over the rice and then mix it together. It gives it flavor and colorful. Yes. And you just stir it around. So 
So our rice is done. Our chicken is done. So now we're ready to serve. I hope you're ready to eat. I'm ready. You should come over. As you can see, we have our sauce, the coleslaw, the bread, the Indian bread. I can't mention the name. I don't know the name anyway. Sorry. And then we have our special meal right here. So as you can see, first I would like to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel. And I want to say thank you so, so much. Wow. I couldn't believe it. We just started this three weeks ago. And I have just 100 subscribers. I just want to thank all the hundred people that subscribe to my channel and I want to thank you thank you so so much I couldn't have this without you guys and I would like to thank my special director Abigail and Chelsea my intro director I don't know how they do it but I want to thank them so much so the chef one special Mediterranean mix is done it could be also vegetarian. If you take out this one with the chicken, you can have your sauce, you can have your pita bread, and then you can have your coleslaw. That's vegetarian right there. So now, next time, we wanna see you. I want you to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and we can make more videos. Come and let's eat. So we wanna try to get our goal to 150 subscribers so you can share with your family, your friends, anybody you know that likes Chef One Sketching, Tune in and we'll see you next time. AKA Chef One. Mm -mm 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 -mm.